Hey guys, it's Ghost here. So, for today, I'm going to be playing City Skylines, PlayStation 4 edition. So, if you don't know what City Skylines is, it's basically a, a city simulator. And it's a really fun game. So, like this episode is basically going to be kind of like a tutorial on like a tour of uh, my city, little well, my little city, and it's called Lakewood. And uh, right now I have cheats on, uh, making it so that I have unlimited money. So I think um, one of the first things that you want for your city is definitely a lot of residential areas. So this is where um, your people are going to live, and like the more residential area, the more people, I think the more the people will want to go to your city and populate it. And furthest from the residential area, you want to put the industrial area. Now these are all your factories and stuff that pollutes, um, that pollutes everything. And so, you'll get like noise complaints and like pollution complaints if you put them next to people. Then you want, um, commercial zones. So basically these are your shops and stuff. Now, uh, these cause a bit of noise. So, um, put them a little, um, far, uh, a little bit farther from most of your citizens. But not, but not as far as the industrial areas so that people can get to the commercial areas and, you know, buy stuff. So, right now for my layout, I kind of have like a, a grid. So, I have... Well, first you're gonna start out with uh, small roads and the zoning for people to move in. So, I would put small roads and then just put them across until you get to practically the end of the map. But you want to leave a little room for, um, for electrical wiring so that you can provide electricity to your people. And then you would want your water... Um, your water set up first. Now, to set up your water, you need a, a water pumping system to pump out water. Then you're also going to need a drain pipe, so that's all the sewage and stuff. So, if you don't have those two for water, then the citizens will get mad and start leaving. And then water pipes are underground, so you don't need to save any space for them. So wh what I did is I put my water pipes along the road, practically in the middle of it, so all the people that are moving in between, uh, or like on the side of the roads, they get water since one water pipe provides a lot. You now keep on doing that for each new road that you add. So that um, each citizen gets money or gets a uh, water. Now the electricity is different because at the beginning of the game, the power plant that you would want is uh, coal power plants. Now these produce um, pollution too, so put them the farthest away from your citizens. And here you'll need power lines. Now power lines are above ground and you need to reserve a lot of space for them. Well, not a lot, but some space for them. So, what I did is I put them very far away from my citizens, which are over there. And I put some transmitters or some um, transformers over here. And I basically went all the way just like on the outer edge of the map so that it would also connect to my sewage system and also it would connect with um, the commercials, the commercial system while it's on the way 
to the citizens, which are pretty much going to consume the most amount of energy. Now, you don't need to connect, like, wires for each house. You're just going to need electricity for this little blue area. Now, when you get the, now when you get, uh, tra or transformers into these areas, then it'll provide, uh, electricity for anything in that area. So you're not gonna need anything for there. Then, then you need to, uh, connect the, uh, transformers to your factories. And then the factories are pretty much the same. Anything in the blue area will provide anything that is encircled in that blue area or is connected to the blue area. And that's pretty much the basics of City Skylands that you need. And you want, now you, at the, if I want to start a new game that has no cheats, you have a limited budget, so you don't have that much money. So, if you have, if you're on this map, then what you're going to need to do is uh, put one uh, small road that's very long and zone it for uh, residential areas so that people uh, will move in there. Now, once you have enough uh, citizens, you're also going to need to set up uh, you're also going to need to set up some commercial zones that need industrial zones. Now the industrial zones basically provide the commercial zones with products and then the commercial zones can't sell the products without citizens in your city. So everything is connected here. After you start leveling up, you're gonna unlock healthcare and education. Now, healthcare is really important because you don't want um, a lot of dead people in your city, obviously. So, you're probably gonna need um, two or one per road, so that you can have um, so you can have availability for each um, giant road for each of your citizens. And then education, you're going to start out with an elementary school. Now, you're going to need a few of them since they don't really highlight that or give that many people um, education. They just give you some education. Then, then after that, you'll unlock emergency services. So that's police and fire department. Now, police, it's the same situation with the, uh, with the health clinics. So you're probably gonna, you're only gonna need one police station uh, every road that you make that's full of people. Now fire department, you are going to need the same situation so that everything is blue. Um, that means that every that everyone has availability to the fire department, so if their house catches on fire, it'll take the fire department less time to get to their house and give it more of a chance to not, you know, burn down. And once you keep on getting more people into your city, you'll unlock more things that you can put in your city to help or to improve your overall, your overall uh, metropolis, or soon to be metropolis. So, yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. Um, if you like it, then leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this, then comment down below. But if you want to see more of my other series, which is War Thunder, then comment down below that you would like to see more of War Thunder. Anyways, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.